Hey everybody, BrickLiver18 here today with another review of one of the BrickLink AFAL Designer Program sets. So a few months ago you would have seen my review of the LEGO Story, the BrickLink AFAL Designer Program set, and today I'm back here with the Antique Fire Engine. This is BrickLink kit number two from the AFAL Designer Program. It's got 1,278 parts with over 250 unique parts. This set was actually designed in the USA from Boone Langston. A lot of you will know Boone from the Beyond the Brick YouTube channel, but I'm really excited about this set. This is the unique kit number 234 of all the ones that are made. And actually this review is going to be really special because I have a special guest with me, my dad, who's an actual firefighter, who's here to give a little bit of the insight on this antique fire truck. Good afternoon, everyone. I am BrickLever18's father. I've been a career firefighter for 15 years. Firefighting is a passion, and antique fire trucks are a passion as well. My grandfather was a fire chief, so he may have driven a truck very similar to this in his career. Throughout this video, I hope to show you a few of the features that make this fire truck very interesting and very unique to the fire service. Yes, I received this uh, present from my family. They know that I am a very avid uh, antique fire engine buff, and so this truck I'm not sure what it's styled after, but it is very typical of a period fire engine. Um, you will notice that it has an open cab. The, the driver and the chief or captain would sit in the front. The firefighters would stand on the tailboard of the back in their fire boots and their raincoats with their hats. And that's how they would proceed to a fire in all kinds of weather. So as you can imagine, it's not the most pleasant way to travel. We have enclosed cabs these days and we are seated and belted for safety. But this being a Lego model, the only difference I noticed was the steering wheel was on the right side. That may have been a design feature of the particular engine that they were modeling it after, or it could mean it was from um, England. I'm not sure. The detailing on the engine is great. The, the designers did a very good job. As I mentioned before, the engine compartment, uh, the hood opens up and you can actually see in the engine. They provided very nice detail. And there was always a uh, ornate symbol on the front of the trucks too, and then it was peculiar to each engine and sometimes to each fire company as well. I forgot to mention the bell. Prior to sirens, this bell would be, would be ringing to notify the people that the fire engine was coming through the streets to make way. You can notice that the only lights they had on the trucks back then were headlights. Uh, we've come a long way by adding emergency lights to notify you that we are coming down the street and that we're on scene. This open area in the back is typically where hoses would be loaded or extra equipment. On every fire engine, there is a place for a particular piece of equipment and it's very important that it goes back in the exact same location every time so that any firefighter can access that equipment without even thinking of where they were going. You'll notice on this side of the truck, the, the hard suction, and that is used to hook the pump to a water source or a hydrant in order to supply the engine with water. On the other side of the truck, you'll notice that they provide a ground ladder that the firefighters would use to access upper story windows. This piece of equipment is a fire extinguisher. One of the most important pieces of equipment that we use, even in the fire service today, would have been a, a fire extinguisher. This would have been a pressurized water can that would have been used as the very first line of defense while the hoses were being deployed, if necessary. You might think that these engines are obsolete, they're no longer in service. However, a lot of uh, fire companies and volunteer services will take these engines, refurbish them, and put them into service for various functions in the fire service. For one, if a member passes in the line of duty, quite often an antique pumper is used as their last ride. Uh, we also, a lot of uh, weddings will use fire engines as their mode of transportation from the church to the uh, reception because we believe nostalgia is a very big part of the fire service and we try not to forget our history. The fire department that I belong to has a bickle from the early 1900s that we have used in parades and for uh, ceremonies. It uh, is a wonderful truck. It brings back a lot of memories for the, the older firefighters that use that truck actually in the, the course of their duties. Uh, for younger firefighters such as myself, I've only ever ridden on it in parades. However, when you look at it, you can see the battle scars and you can see how important that pumper was to the daily fire protection in the cities that they protected. Well, thank you very much for watching my first ever review. Uh, this is my first ever fire truck that I built. As I mentioned, it was a, pr a present from my family and they know, first of all, how important the fire service is to me. And secondly, they felt that I would enjoy building a Lego model and the designer did a fantastic job of uh, recreating early fire engines and I had a, a 
a lot of fun building it. And I thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me today talk about the prior service. As you can tell, it's a bit of a passion. And I had a lot of fun building this, and I had a lot of fun doing this very first review. Thank you very much. Thanks everybody so much for watching this review of the Bricklink AFOL Designer Program Antique Fire Engine. This is a really, really cool set, and I'm really excited to have had a guest reviewer here. This is the first time I've ever done that on my YouTube channel, so you'll have to let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed that or not. Again, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.